Uh, hey everybody, um, gonna show you how to make diagonal lines. Uh, sorry, I just woke up. I hate that. But I just woke up. Um, kind of felt the need to get this video done because I know if I didn't do it now, well, I kind of had some determination to do it. I probably would never do it. So, close out of this. Um, open up Photoshop. Uh, the diagonal line, it's kind of like this, this background right here. Actually, just like that. With whatever color you want, whatever direction, up and down, and so on. So, after Photoshop's open, go ahead and File, New, make it 8 by 8 pixels. And click OK. You should have a very small square now. Um, oh yeah, and if you want to make it like where you can put the lines over something, like uh, for example, how I did with the clouds. You know how they're over the clouds instead of covering it up. Like if you put the background not transparent, then you're just gonna have a bunch of. Then I just have a bunch of white with the lines. <coughs> so. After you have what you want, then get the little magnifying glass, zoom all the way in as far as it'll let you. And right there, go ahead and get the pencil tool out. Make sure it's on one. And pick what color you want. I'll use this purple color. Now make a line like so in whatever direction you want, with the color you want. Okay, let's undo that. Um, so if you wanted them to go the opposite direction, you'd go that way, obviously. And finish that. And if you wanted to make the lines go down, you do that. This isn't in the middle, obviously, but you probably want to do it in the middle. I really don't know that it would matter, but yeah, it will look the best. And it doesn't have to be on 8x8. You can try others, depending on how far you want them spread apart and how big you want them. But you can like you can change that in the settings. So let's go ahead and make mine go this way. Um, then you want to go to edit and define pattern. You can name it to whatever you want. Click OK. Now let's go ahead and open up um, let's go to libraries wallpapers um, I'll open up this now this I could spend you know quite a while doing getting the lines over certain things, but I'm just gonna put it over the entire thing. Actually, before I do that really quick, let me show you one more thing. I'm going to go to transparent a by eight, so I can show you how they both look. If you didn't quite understand what I was talking about. Okay. Now, if you want to do like you saw me just do, you need to unlock the background, double click that, and click OK. If you want to put the lines over it, and go to FX, Pattern Overlay, then go to whatever you wanted. Scroll down, and you should find all your patterns. But okay, here's what I'm talking about. See, if you have the white background not transparent, it covers up the entire image. But if you do have the transparent thing, it does that. So that's why I want that. And when you zoom in a lot, it gets still looking like that. Not very good. So you're gonna want it like that. It's just an example. It doesn't look good, but. So that's basically how to make lines like so, like 
this in Photoshop. Ugh. Um, that's really about it. If you guys want to know any more thing, any more about this, then send me a message or comment on the video below. And also, please send me messages, comment, whatever you want to do. Uh, tell me what what kind of tutorials you want. Um, and also, um, I should be getting a HD PVR soon. Soon being in the next couple of months, just because like every paycheck I get, I always need something else. So that's really not that important yet. Uh, so. Alright, thanks guys. Please subscribe and thumbs up the video and click the incredible reaction or whatever reaction you want to do. Yeah, thanks.